distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to give my presentation here. It's development of a hybrid, hybrid rice for food security in the world. It includes four aspects. One, rice in China. Based on the data from China National Bureau of Statistics, I statistic the data from 2010 to 26 for only six, seven years. The area harvest in China is 29 to 30 million hectares, increased 1%. The rice yield in seven one years increased 4.5%. The rice production of the total is increased 5.4%. That means in China, the rice yield increased. The rice production also increased. This is the details from 2010 to 2016. Now in China, the for, for seven years, the yield average is 6,750 kg per hectare. It's is much higher than the, the average yield of the world. <coughs> Two, the rice imported and exported. From 1990 to 19, to, sorry, to, to 2011, China is the exporting rice country, rice exporting country. Yeah. In 2012, in a flexion point appeared. Since 2012, China became the rice import country, as import, import country. You can see 2011, China, the net imported is just the 0, 0, 0 0.062 2, 2 million hectares. Built until to last year, the rice uh, net imported increased to two million eight hectares, uh, eight uh, to, uh, million tons, million tons, very fastly increased. So now China becomes the rice important, import, rice imported country. Yeah, three. The MOA, Ministry of Agriculture of China, uh, set up the Super Rice Breeding Program. In China was, in China language is um, 700 kg per mo. That means um, 10 tons per hectare. Um, 12, 12 tons per hectare, and then 13.5 uh, tons per hectare until to uh, 15 tons per hectare. That's the breeding target from the MOA. For these four targets, Professor Yuen Nunbin's team heated the four targets. Four targets. The By the targets from the MOA is um, by 2020, we want to hit the uh, 15 tons boat. The Professor Williams team trying to do the breeding and the, some of the cultivations. We already got the hit the targets of 15 tons per hectare by um, uh, 
and year last year and then last year. This is the details. Hmm? Yeah, this slide is um, um, 2011 when I was charge of the high, higher demonstrations and the MOA uh, established, uh, sent up, dispatched uh, the Czech team to China, to my province. The team lead is the series and DJ, Director General of Dr. Chen Shifa. The nine point, just uh, that time, the yield is more than 12 tons. Two, hybridized in and outside of China. In China, hybridized area is 16, 16 Point eight million hectares. Or current for the total rice area is fifty-six percent, and um, more than half. More than half. So rice yield, the hybrid rice yields reach the reach it, the seven point two per hectare is higher than the inbreeds, uh, fifteen percent, fifty percent. This is the uh, distribution in China of hybrid rice. Yeah, well, I also study, uh, get some of the data from the uh, ELI and some the, 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 the hybrid rice uh, 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 symposium in, in, in Indonesia. The major uh, hybrid rice plenty countries last year, the area reached the six million hectares. Like India, the area of hybrid rice is more than three million hectares. The USA also the um, four hundred thousand hectares, like that, like this. <coughs> now, uh, in China, especially the Chinese government, uh, wanted to uh, develop a hybrid rice outside of China. So I made the statistics. Um, Slow the MOA, Ministry of Agriculture, um, MOC, Ministry of Commerce, and uh, MOST, Ministry of Science and Technology. They are training the uh, technicians and experts, uh, experts abroad. The total number is reached the 14,000 technicians or experts. That's from the Chinese government. Suppose. Also, the Chinese uh, government helped the African countries establish establish the um, agriculture technology uh, and uh, extension center. Uh, we also the established the more than twenty more than twenty uh, centers. Um, each center investment is. Uh, is 20 to 50 million yuan. Help the, develop, the African countries develop hybrid rice. Of course, the private seed companies uh, have the, some the cooperation in, in uh, hybrid rice, especially like the number high tech, uh, is, uh, uh, cooperated with the local companies, established the, the research institute, institutions in the Philippines, in India, Indonesia, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Yeah. So I think the Chinese government um, helped the African uh, Africa countries and the thousand, uh, thousand Asians and uh, developed countries and uh, provide some of the financial support and then technical support. Now I wanted to introduce the new development in hybridize inside the, uh, in China, especially in China National Hybrid Rice Center and um, Professor Yuan uh, Research Center. Okay. One, the amount of hybrid rice varieties increased sharply. Increased sharply. The National Caesar Administrative Bureau of MOA started to establish the new trial group uh, year last year, uh, which consists of the private seeds company and the public research institutions independent, independently. Originally, just the 
less than 10 national uh, variety trials group. Now increase the 81. So that means the 81 uh, national trial uh, 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 trial tri 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 variety network established, approved by the government. So the the many many rice uh, many employees, especially the rice harvesters, and released farmers, released farmers. So there were 186 varieties released farmers last year. This year, reached uh, the variety released farmers is 268, 200, really increased sharply, sharply. So now in two and three years, in recent two and three years, the large number of the rice varieties Launched to markets, released to farmers in China. So this, this is a, a national national high yielding demonstrations in Funan Province and Henan Island. The new development is a high quality of uh, hybrid rice. In recently. Uh, with the development of the labor standard increased, the markets and the consumers uh, needed the uh, high quality of rice, especially for the rice hybrids, rice for hybrids. And this year, the MOA uh, held the, you can see, uh, held the national conference to select the high quality in Guangzhou uh, at, um, April, at April, and 10 Jindao variety, that means the Japonica uh, rice, uh, uh, Japonica employees, is awarded to golden prize. That's the best, that's the best varieties, best uh, quality varieties. And the, the other is the 10 Indica rice, we were the, the Indica rice, Xiandao, Xiandao, uh, was selected to award the golden prize. That means in, in last April, in China, we selected the 20 uh, high quality uh, rice varieties and um, awarded the golden prize, recommended to farmers to raise. So the rice breeders and the scientists and the farm, even the farmers pay more attention to the quality of rice, of rice. Yeah, this is a, yeah, uh, high blue rice with the high quality account for the 30% of the total uh, high quality. That means of the 20 uh, high quality uh, varieties, the rice hybrids are covered for the six, the six varieties. So the quality of rice hybrids now in China increased, increased, improved it, improved it. This is the milled rice, uh, the one for the Tao Yu Shang Zhang, one rice variety, one rice uh, hybrids, one rice hybrids. This is the, the milled, milled, milled glaze. So even the and um, rice hybrids uh, improve the quality. They want to de 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 meet the demands of the markets and the consumers. Consumers. So the other is the we the lower concentration of uh, cadmium CD. And uh, some areas, in, especially in Funan Province, my province, some the heavy metals and um, plot contaminate. The rice follows the, 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 the rice hybrids, rice hybrids. Now, my mate, Professor Yunami's team, the scientist, the scientist from the, our center used the genomic aided technology, CRISPR, uh, Cas9, obtain the plants of Longliang uh, Yu Huazhan with a very low concentration of a city, of a city. Uh, 
the last month, the, the last month, on September 29, uh, a new rice hybrid with a very really low uh, concentration of CD was measured in our province, in Xiang, uh, Xiangda city, Funan province. The CD concentration is just 0 0.07 mg per, per kg, and is much lower than the 0, 0 0.2 Kg, uh, mg per hectare for China standard. Of course, it's much lower than the international standard. If, it's com if it will be commercialized, it will be effectively resolve the issue of rice grain um, contaminated by heavy metals in the coming years. It will be commercialized in coming years. This is the, the lead research, lead professor, Dr. Zhao Ban Ran, with his uh, boss, Dr. Uh, professor Yun Long Ping. The third, the wide adaptability re resistant to the disease, pest, lodging, and the suitable for mechanization operations. This is really normal, very normal. Now, uh, in China, especially the and the central and the eastern and the west, the southern and the south China, the southern China, and the rice blast and some other disease and the um, pest lodging become the more and more serious, more and more serious. But anyway, the rice breeders try to the best. A few of rice hybrids have been to uh, the farmers to the central China, eastern China. North, uh, uh, West, Southern China, and Southern China. So that means a few of rice hybrid released to farmers. They covered the Indica rice planted area, including the, including the uh, Waliang Yu 143. This uh, rice hybrid uh, was implemented by, my, by me. This is a certificate from the governments, from the governments. Uh, this variety, the rice hybrids, can be released, planted in the Sichuan, Chongqing, Yunnan, Guizhou, Hunan, Hubei, Jiangxi, uh, Anhui, Zhejiang, Fujian, Guangxi, Guangdong, Henan province. Thirteen provinces can be planted this variety, the rice variety. This variety. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Two, the uh, new development, the multi particle type of super uh, rice hybrids. This uh, new con conception was uh, presented by, by me. I already uh, published the, 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 um, the papers to uh, hybrid rice magazines. So, what is the multi panical type of super hybrid conception? Is the uh, effective panical number shows a significant advantage compared with the trial check or major variety planted. And is the total grains per panical belongs to the middle and the larger size panical. The technical index, the effective panical is more than 10% than the checks or is the over 2.85 uh, million, uh, million particles per hectare. That's the indicus. indicus. The total grain, the particle, the total grain per particle is between the uh, 150 grains and to 2,000, uh, sorry, to 200 for the single price. As you know, in China, southern China, have the two global systems, one global system and the two global systems. This is for one global systems. Why I wanted to, why I wanted to propose this this this, this uh, multi panicle type, because I found uh, the commercial production and the high demonstrations, the uh, the panicle of the variety becomes the bigger and and bigger. Sometimes the the panicle is panicle 
Korean is more than 300, a very, very, very big particles. So it in the increase the, the amount of the large ions and also increase the cost. So who um, proposed the bleeding material? So I propose this the uh, new bleeding, uh, bleeding models. And then in China and at Uli, uh, I summarized as uh, six bleeding models. Firstly, from the Dr. Kushi. Uh, he, um, he presented the ideal planet type. Mm. The second, um, Professor Yang Shouren, he uh, proposed the big and irregular panic model. And Dr. Zhou Keida um, presented the heavy panic type model. And Dr. Chen Shifa, the C3 DJ, I think it's here. Uh, he he, he presented the um, bleeding, uh, bleeding model is focusing type of a ripening stage model. Of course, Professor Yuna Bin, he presented the, is the ideal plant type model with a taller canopy, lower panicle position, and a bigger panicle size. Okay. So uh, I propose this is a new conception, this is a new bleeding model. I also um, bleed the new uh, S lines and the new rice hublets. The means was also approved and then released to farmers in Funa province. The means that's uh, uh, use my name, use Penjimi to name the S lines. And the, the rice hublets, Minya U143, also is, also is the multi panicle uh, rice hublets, also released to farmers in uh, 2015. 2015. This is a standard plant and the certificate of MES. Also, the, um, I located the, the, um, the genes with the um, uh, multi panicle type, like this. Okay, this is the Minya U143, the, the certificate. And the, okay. Okay, the fourth is the third generation of rice hybrids. This is a pro, uh, presented by Professor Yuen Pim. Genetic engineering males royal James line is developed by gene uh, engineering, engineering use a common nuclear males royal rice. It has the advantage of the CMS and um, um, PJ, P, PGMS and then TGMS lines, and it all overcomes the weakness of both. Okay, this is the James line. This is a really new conception. James uh, hybridized uh, systems. Okay. This is a gene type of a genetic engineering males royal and then the James lines. So that means the Professor Yuan Lopin's team, they use the um, pyramid breedings and then they use the, uh, the, the um, they use the uh, common nuclear, common nuclear um, survived male genes combined with the combined with the pollen lizard genes and fluorescence genes together, together, produce the new lines, James lines. Okay, this is a pollen pollination. Okay, this um, okay, you can see in the same particle, we can find the two kinds of the color grains, the pink, pink color grains and the normal yellow colors. The pink, the pink color grains can use to be the, for multiplications. The normal uh, or yellow grains can use to be FNC's productions. Of course, how to distinguish, how to separate the two kinds color of the disease. Of course, we use the, 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 the color sorter can separate the seeds. Can separate the seeds. You can see this is the, the James lines, the James lines. This is the uh, Professor Yuan and his teams, the his teams. Now, when we application submit to the government, hope give the, 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 the approval. That means now is in the test, not commercialized. But we 
be almost close to the targets. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay. Right, the fourth pro prospects. I think high blue lights in China will be toward the development with the high quality, high yield, suitable for the mechanizing operation. It will be more simpler, more convenient, more, se more security. And we will be keep the stable area planted in China. I think by 2030, the high blue lights area outside of outside of China will be reach, will reach about um, 15 million hectares, as similar to China's area of uh, hybrid rice. Uh, is is uh, equivalently the hybrid rice area of China at the present. Okay, thank you. This is my presentation. Thank you so much.